welcome again to my YouTube channel, another YouTube video, and this time I'm going to review the news. Uh, it's a pregnant nurse, pregnant nurse, 28, dies after contracting COVID-19, but the baby survives. Tributes have been paid to Mary, uh, it's, a, it's a quite long name, whose baby was delivered by emergency cesarean and is said to be doing well. A 28 years old pregnant nurse has died after contracting coronavirus. Mary, who worked at Luton and Dunstable University Hospital for five years, died on Sunday after testing positive for COVID-19, the disease caused by the coronavirus. Her baby was delivered successfully by emergency cesarean and is doing well, according to the hospital. Rhoda Asiedu and Gloria Guillaume, thought to be two friends of MS uh, Aguian Pong, have since set up a fundraiser in her name for her husband and daughter, which has so far raised more than £20,000. Its original target was £2,000. On the fundraising page, the Dewey said Mary was a blessing to everyone she came across and her love, care and sincerity will be irre irreplaceable. First of all, uh, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, uh, she's a, she's a, she was a brave, brave woman uh, working for NHS and, you know, she just sort of sacrificed her life fighting for the coronavirus and helping others. So this is, uh, you know, immense example in terms of sacrifice and, you know, and especially uh, being pregnant and, uh, you know, they, first of all, uh, the, my concern on this is why she was allowed to work while she's pregnant. As we know that government has announced that you know people, pregnant women, underlying health condition, and people with uh, you know other diseases, they are more at risk. So whoever put her uh, uh, to work, you know, I know that quite a few NHS workers uh, who got symptoms and they self isolated and then they never came back to work for about two weeks. I don't know why this has happened. You know, um, it's, it's a very simple say when your time is up, you know, you know, you got to go, you got to go. That's all it is. But it's it's one of those things, if you look at uh, in, in a different point of view, uh, if she was pregnant and the baby was delivered as well, and when she, she had, the, had the virus, uh, you know, and of course the, the idea that she wouldn't be able to hold any longer because uh, she was struggling for the life. And obviously carrying a baby in her stomach and uh, if both two lives were at risk. So uh, thankful, uh, you know, to, to NHS uh, staff, we managed to save the baby. But the thing is, why she was allowed to work in these uh, circumstances and uh, during the health conditions she was in because she was pregnant and she was still uh, being put into work. And if that's sometimes people would love to come forward and do things, but we need to look at it from a different point of view that she was uh, someone's wife, someone's mother and you know she was a part of a family so it is one of those difficult things where uh, you know the management of nhs should have made a, a, a you know a, a, like a, a crucial decision saying that yeah we know that you want to help and we know that you want to work hard and you want to contribute in the fight against the coronavirus but uh, you know in her circumstances she should have been allowed to work that's my opinion why she was given permission to work while everybody knew that pregnant women and people with the underlying health conditions are at a greater risk with this virus. So it's to me, it's not the right thing to do. And, and I'm, I'm shocked that nobody has mentioned this uh, in, in the whole news that why she was allowed to work, why she was given the permission to go out while she was pregnant. So it's a very, uh, uh, you know, to me, it's, it's, it doesn't, doesn't look right and she lost her life and that you know so someone will uh, you know uh, point a finger on this and say that right why she was uh, put in that uh, uh, situation in first place so she has to go and work we understand that everybody's uh, you know uh, doing their best and all and the chess workers are you know they're, they're working around the clock to help patients but it was not herself there was uh, two lives involved and you know one of them is lost so it, it's a sad thing it's a sad news but again i'm not fully convinced that this should have been should have been the case because she, she would have been refused straight away so that you're not allowed to come to work and off but 
you know, I don't know in what circumstances this uh, has happened, but for the future reference, anything like that should have been refused straight away by saying that, look, you're pregnant, stay at home. All the pregnant women, they've been told to stay at home because they are greater risk. Anybody with the underlying health conditions, you know, they've been given the priority uh, in the coronavirus, uh, you know, infections. So to me, it's an error. It's an error made by the management and they should look into it. And, uh, you know, something needs to be done uh, for such events. So guys, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you want to add something, you want to share your experience, you want to say something about this, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And if this is the first time you are watching my YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.